Prophecy and the devil in me. Christ. The bird. <laughs> Fuck! I'm gonna die. We're gonna get into part two right now. Let's play alone. This is loud, is it? No, this is loud on me. Oh shit, very loud. Okay. Continue. All right, here we go. There we go. Exactly where we left it off right now. Damn it. Breakers. She was the she was the middle manan. She was the uh, captain of the boat. Turn the power back on. I'm probably gonna freak out, scream, God knows what. My girlfriend's probably gonna laugh at it. Mr. Demet? Like, you're not really good at aiming the flashlight, are you? All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Great. Into the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Enjoy your memory, dude. Ben at Killer. This is Jamie. Fuck. Make better choices. Online auction for serial Random killer. Fault. Shipping address. King. All right. Wait, what is it? 24000 dollars for a bowler hat? Jesus Christ. So every time I see a bowler hat, I think of Miss Um was it? Oh my god, meet the Robinsons, the bowler hat guy, who's the little kid who's actually the adult, and he tries to get um the the boy, the orphan boy, and stuff like that. That's what I think about when I see bowler hat guy. It's 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 literally that, you know. Which I also got one scene with the freaking dinosaur I showed my girlfriend uh, with the T-Rex that he had little arms. Probably the best scene uh, I've seen out there. I'll probably post it on, on Twitter so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I suck at reading. Dear Mr. Clark, Mr. Belkamp has requested further re renovation to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment Mr. Borkow can provide a detailed breakdown of the work that he wants. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. And the in in the interim in the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of a previous contract. Sincerely, someone. And there's the thing, cost assessment, Jesse, Laura, Frank, Monica, and Ryan. It's on your fucking flashlight. Fuck, check that again. All right. Fuck, 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 fuck. Right. I want to check all this stuff out first. Don't. There's a lot of letters, man. Um, following our discussion regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we reviewed your latest design to the estimate. The construction work necessary. Please find the overleaf. Blah, blah. Um, the work can be commenced on January 13th and will take 10 weeks. For Friday the March 24th. $840,000. Holy shit. 
Fuck. Alright. No, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. I don't do good in dark rooms. Stop with the fucking music like that. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Grand opening. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Zero. Five. Two. Two. No, I don't know what the code is. Fuck. Did I have anything that gave me the code? All right. Why do they put on creepy ass music? I don't understand. Here we go. Um, due to the winter sun, pool opening hours have changed. Um, something about the Columbus house. Zero four five one. We found it. Okay. Zero four. Is that four five one or four five two? Zero four five one. Okay, that should be it. Oh fuck my life, dude. Okay. I got this. Zero. I was close. Zero, four, five, five. Oh no, it's one, 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 one. There we go. Cool. We got this. Oh, thank God. Something from this century. All right. Um, press uh, to equip the multimeter. All right. So we got. We are going over here, to 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 over there, to over there. Ha! Stupid. I can be an electrician, guys. If you ever need an electrician for your house, let me know. Why aren't you moving? Oh, I have to press the button. Anything else here? Nothing here. Okay. Attention. Attention. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to be in here. Nope. 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 I should have pressed this button. Why am I going up here? Damn 
Yo, Sanu, what is up? God, fucking A, bro. to build my own little castle just like Holmes did most people like me do their business where their target lives that's just asking to get caught Holmes had the right idea it's all about the honey trap you bring me some smokes like I asked lucky reds yes oh these are like gold in here Damn, that's good. So, yeah. A honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops, what do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. That whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet, all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. But you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. That's fine. Why, why am I going this way? Oh, okay, fuck. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical <sighs> drama, but Jesus. we're about good to go. This looks great. Very good. You want a second, guys? It's light. Mm, if we had a grip of some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. Ah! What the hell? <sighs> Those were the, to Aaron. Aaron was the one that we left. I, I, I can't get the door open. 
Get me out! Okay, we're right here. Calm down, Erin. Do right. Oh my god. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Uh, guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Oh, fuck my <laughs> life. God, what the fuck? <laughs> Who's there? I, I, guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh, God. Let's take the inhaler. We're gonna die. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> oh shit, we, we made it. Oh, so we did the right one. Okay. Oh man. But let's be honest. You're okay, Those two girls I gotta get it on. <laughs> but oh my god. Did you see him? Oof. Come on. Because remember we had the, the Somebody was right there. In there with me. So so we had the premonition that he was gonna stab her like through the head right here. And we got lucky by reaching for it instead of attacking. We would attack, we put him in dead. So we might have saved her for now, which is good because if you guys already seen me play these games, I pretty much kill everybody. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He he had a hat on, like H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show. I did not. Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down. Get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Karen. There you go. Aha. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? I'm doing good though, right? Now, where's <laughs> our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. 
She didn't say anything good, not anything. That's right, it's like the bad. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? <laughs> Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now... This is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. <sighs> it's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, OK? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? <sighs> Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie. Yeah, Mark. Said. We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. Promise. Well, no, why don't... would you sorry, just Still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Now, have I seen him? Okay, genius. In the room? Where are we going to look first for Dumet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Charlie. <sighs> so I went up. I think it was on 178 before. What happened here? I... No idea. <sighs> Slow pan through lobby. I wonder if the ground people would know where the met went. Well... There's a lot of like notes and stuff like that. Okay, so we're still, is that us? No, it wasn't us, the next page is us.
Wait, what? What the hell? What? It's always five people I've noticed. Um... Um... Jamie, over here. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Oh my god. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented <laughs> by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. I think if I played this game like on, on my TV, I wouldn't be as scared as I am right now. You back here? Okay. Well, I just want to make sure you're with me. Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. Okay, you scared the shit out of me. Fine. It's a groundskeeper that reads the stall earlier in the uh, thing. Please! Please! Are you. I'll do anything! What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Stop! Look! This is it's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. Help. Please. 
Help! Help me! Jamie. Oh my god! Stay. Damn. The mask? What the hell was that? Are you shitting me? Well, we're trapped. We're not getting out. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. Spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make dick. fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, yeah. Maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't a time or place to- I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. <laughs> That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. But I mean, did you ever think maybe of chasing the dream first? I'm making it work practically second? Clearly not. I'm here, aren't I? Things are already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I don't like her. <laughs> Or him. That was a really stupid choice, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> that was like my ex. Stupid choice. Stupid shit. I. I just. Uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right. I get it. We better go. This game yeah, really wants... And get the fuck out of here. This game really wants us to, like, be with Mark and stuff like that. I don't Charles want to be with Mark. Bent on talking to oh. him, so maybe. Yeah. One second, guys. 
I just said very quickly, we're right back in a second. Let's go into be right back. The whole thing is that they think that oh, you know, if I if he pets me, that means he he. You know, if, if I keep on jumping on him, he's gonna keep on petting me. So you gotta avoid that. Oh, that was cute. Bye, mother. Hello, mother. Hello, father. I took off my mask. You're so dumb with that add on. Do 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 do. Phone can ring all fucking day. I don't give a shit. Tell me that's not Children's Hospital. They killed Rob Cordy from Children's Hospital. And there he is right there. Look, exactly. Exact. Uh, there we go. Um, six seconds. All right, here we go. Back to the game. Let's see if there's anything in the room first. Oh man, shit. Oh, I can see that. No. Move, Mark. Who's going around locking these doors? You met? It's a little helper in the yellow coat. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is it her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? Mm. He kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when they, that's when he got her it's okay it's not fucking okay it can't be i have to live with it every day and now someone knows someone wanted me to find this <laughs> what the hell is that i have no idea but i feel like it's bad what the hell get over here now charlie <laughs> 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 I can't hold this. Listen, you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie! Oh, Charlie! What the hell just happened? Uh, Mommy! I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's really, really bad. It isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. There has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Oh, shit. Uh, What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? contraption that's a hell of a lot to set up that was planned out every bit of it it was set up for us to find 
Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really the Met. The fuck? Motherfucker! What? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know, I don't want to think about it. The fuck? Trying to map this in my head. I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear creepy kid uh. voice, too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. Oh my God. Hey, look, the Pygmalion map in DVD. I think it's pig, pig mouth. <laughs> and we're dead. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. <laughs> Natalie Morello. Oh, are you? Ah, fuck! Holy shit! It's, it's a fucking body. You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. He don't know that. Maybe. Fuck. You're probably right. It's freezing. Move on. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah! Ah. Oh, God. Charlie? Fuck. I know somebody was in there. They gotta hear this. Wait. <sighs> Guys? Hello? And she's back hey. to being locked in a room. Charlie? Mark? 
Jamie! Come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Treatment for what? Snake oil, okay. Oh my god. Don't move. Don't. Whoa, what is this crap? Jesus! What the hell? Oh, well, who's the kid in the picky post huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, we know it's home's desk, okay. So Dear Mr. Thompson, why don't you leave me the hell alone? All right, where am I still gonna? Okay. This time. 
You trying to get on my good side or something? Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'll save him. What, no questions? What's going on with you, Monday? Oh, you seem different. Ah, <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. Know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27, but we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time to try and beat that. Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about? I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first girl bleed out. I call it art. That's my signature on society. It's not murder. It's an aesthetic response to what this world has made me. Ask people to list serial killers, and they'll drop five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those killers. No one is going to say a damn thing. No one knows. No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on t-shirts. No one gives a shit. <laughs> I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Jamie? Aaron? You there? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? What is happening? What? You're not safe, Aaron. How are... You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't... Just listen. Listen, there's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now, just trust me, okay? <gasps> like it. We're gonna hide. I think I fucked up. He's gonna die.
Oh. Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Don't tell them, Kelly. Go with that. Hopefully, somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? <laughs> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. I'd like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. Relax. So, it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird? Yes. Cause to lose your shit? No. This is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Jesus, it looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Suck at being stealthy. Oh my god. When that wall shut, I I'm just glad you're okay. Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Alright, give me a second. Let me get water. Oh shit. Love my water. Oh, it was fun. I drank some. Right in front of us. Dumet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies walk 
washed up on the other side of the lake. Are you fucking kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut Bodies it up! Dead. 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 What was that? What the fuck? This, it's fake. A prop or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Oh, oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. It's locked. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Do <coughs> man. You want to play around? Get out here right now. Let's fucking play. Charlie. Uh. Jamie! Hello! Jamie! I'm okay! Oh, I've been here. There we go. What the hell did I eat?
Mm. I think I go through that cross piece, but I don't think it's it. It's gotta be through here, but why? Hey, this thing came up. There we go. I think there has to be something I can press. <laughs> no second. Ow. Oh wait, fuck. Here's a credit card. Nice, we found another one. It's been a while since we found one of these. Oh, we haven't found one since the beginning of the game, actually. <laughs> I knew it. First thing went to my head, don't fucking pull the switch, the light's on. I think it's six. It's real. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm dead. 
bud. Where's the mannequin? Praise the Lord. What's he doing? Need to do something. Oh, what the hell? Hey. Get the great, dude. Damn it. Things are starting to heat up for our friends. Charlie's goose may be cooked. Mark and Kate clearly want to be truthful with each other, but it turns out that Kate has been hiding something from Mark, maybe even trying to hide it from herself. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. What do you think? Oh, fuck it, let's get a hint. 
Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. The fuck did you just say? <laughs> You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. All right, Mike Tyson. Another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. I don't want to find out. This guy's going to go in there like it's all good and shit. Want this way. This way. Back. Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. This is Laura at reception. What the, hell? the Columbus Spa is now open for guests. We treat each and every one of our guests like a real work of art. Son of a bitch. He's watching us. Fuck. Oh. All right, I think. What is up, Fear Reaper? How's it going? How's it going? Just playing some uh, devil in me. Freaking out. I think we already lost one person already. How the fuck? Oh. What are you looking at? Keep looking around.
What are you looking at? There must be something useful around here. Oh my lord. Sorry about that. Holy shit. Can all visitors for the couple's treatment please gather by the lobby doors in reception? I want to check this out first and then we'll open up. Mark, one. give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. Three, two, one, go! Ah, uh, 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 damn it! Uh, uh, okay. What happened? We'll get back to you. Stay there. Just hurry. Ah, uh, that hurt. Fuck oh, shit! Fuck my life, man. What the fuck are you looking at? <sighs> oh! I can't do this, bro. I swear to God. Stay close. Obviously. Stay close. I got you. Fuck my God damn it. What the fuck just happened?
Oh the fuck. Keep looking around. Shut the fuck up! Can you take a picture or something like that? Because it'll be it'll be very helpful. Gotta be a way through. There's gotta be a way through. There's gotta be a way through. Oh, we can shut the fuck up. Just standing around. Oh, shit. Must be a way out. Shut up, nerd. <laughs> what the hell? I'm moving the button. I don't want to stop picking it up. That's weird. Where's the these buttons? I have to double check that now. There must be something useful around here. <laughs> All right, I gotta do this again because I, I I don't know what's going on in that part. See, this doesn't work. I guess it's this. Keep looking Fuck. around. Shut up, nerd. There you go. Let's basically run quickly. Oh my god. No point just standing around. This way, where the fuck am I going now? Oh, my lord. Barbed wire. What 
So it is that way. Up here. Up here. There must be a way out. There must be a way out. Oh, let me try this one. Let me try this quickly, guys, and we'll. Something useful around here. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. So I got here. If I get to at least the next scene and then we can go from there. I knew there was something around here, that's why.
Mark, here. Let's move the desk. Hello? Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. We're okay. We're okay. <gasps> Thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. Ah, <clears throat> damn. Hear that? This way. Well, why are they going where the music is? Oh no, he did die. Oh my god. Oh. are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Wait, look. Regulator switch. Will that give the mayor? No. Not both of them. It's sucking out all the air. Whoever we point this lever at is gonna die. What? something! <laughs> Alright. So now I have a choice between Aaron or the bitch... Jamie, not Jamie. Jamie's that one. Between Aaron and the other chick. Let's see her. Kate. Kate sucks. She's stubborn. She's witty, romantic. What the fuck is all this shit? These are all things I haven't found yet? Wow, shit. Hold on a second. Um... I'm trying to see something right now. Mm. Oh, whatever. All right. Um, we're only on Jamie. How can I switch the other character? He 
he wants us to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. Uh. I can't. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Jamie! Please! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Please help Oh, yeah, both love interests because she loves... We have to choose. Now! Sorry, Kate. No! We had to what do something! You? They were both gonna die! <laughs> Okay. Window. There's a there's a leak. Back up, back up. Good job, buddy. You want to kill me, bitch? Oh, there it is. She's okay. What? What is happening? Dumet is playing a game, and it's no fucking joke. You okay? Just leave me alone. I just saved your life, bitch. Look. We have to get smart about this before one of us ends up dead like Charlie. Wait, Charlie's dead? Dumet got him and forced us to play some game. We had to, we had to watch him die. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on a line, maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. He's probably got it rigged with traps. Then we gotta be really fucking careful. It's our best shot. Are you shooting any of this? No one is gonna believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! Ah! 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 Mark! No! Jamie! Ah! Wait, no, no, no!
I didn't know it's the button. Fuck. Um, uh, what? Oh, fuck. Oof. I give this one, right? Where? Oh my god. I got it. Fuck. <sighs> oh, shit, I want the wrong way, where are we? Fuck my life, dude.
Fuck any dude. So he looks like he's an FBI agent then. So that's what I'm thinking. All right, FBI agent. Psychological assessment conducted by Dr. Isabella Garcia. Patient name, Monday, Hector. Behavioral observation. Hector arrived at our scheduled appointment 24 minutes late. Once we sat down and began the session, he struggled to maintain eye contact. He found it difficult to articulate his feelings and was terse and guarded throughout. Hector has been working long hours and, as a result, isn't sleeping well. Hector spoke about his recently deceased mother and displayed evidence that he hasn't yet fully come to terms with her death. I strongly recommended a course of antidepressants, but he is resistant to this idea, believing that it would have a detrimental effect on his capability with regards to his current investigation. Hector describes his work in immaculate detail, and contrary to earlier in the session, his thought content is both coherent and logical. He is displaying an unhealthy obsession with his work, but his recent bereavement may be the underlying issue. So I gotta find a code for this. Try to find a number for that code. I don't think it'll be the same one. Um, I 
All right, good day, leave. Six eight eight three. There it is. Good job. Six eight 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 eight. Oh my God, three. There you go. I think we're gonna stop it here. Look for a way out. Return to my menu. I think we're gonna go from here. Fuck. Holy shit.